Most of you at some point in time in your math career have learned how to FOIL out binomials when you multiply them by each other. Something like x plus 2 times x minus 2. And FOIL says that you want to take the first term plus the outer terms plus the inner terms plus the last terms if you multiply these together. So if, for instance, if I got FOIL, if I wanted to FOIL this out, I would take the first term, x, and x, and I would multiply them together. That would give me x squared. I would then take the outer terms, which is x and negative 6, I would multiply those two. That gives me a negative 6x. I would take the inner terms, 2 and x, and I would multiply those together, which gives me a positive 2x. And then I would take the last terms, so I would have negative 6 times 2, that gives me a negative 12. Then I could go and I see that I have x's here, so I could combine these. x squared, negative 6x plus 2x gives me a total of negative 4x, and then minus 12. So I could rewrite then x plus 2 times x minus 6 as x squared minus 4x minus 12. Or working backwards, I could factor this, this polynomial expression into these two terms. Now, here's an alternative to FOIL, though. If I want to take x plus 2 times x minus 6, I can simply create a 2 by 2 box. I take one of the terms, x, and a positive 2, and I put it on top. I take the other term, x, and a negative 6, and I put it on the side. Now all I have to do is, whenever I'm working in this box, I need to take the two terms that connect here. So x and x combine, they multiply to get x squared. x times 2x, like here, these two combine at this spot, that would be 2x. x times negative 6 gives me negative 6x. And negative 6 times 2 gives me negative 12. And then I owe that these two here will combine to give me x squared, this term, 2x minus 6x, 2 minus 6 is negative 4 x's. So I've gotten rid of those. And then I have the negative 12 at the end. You're not doing anything different. You will not get a different answer than what you do with FOIL. It's just maybe a different way to visualize what you're doing with FOIL. This works for also for something like, for instance, if we want to take the number 23 times 46, you could even go so far as to do something like this. I have 20 and then 3 more, and I'm going to add 40 plus 6 more. Now I can go through and I can say 20 times 40. Well, that's 2 times 4, which is 8, and then I have 2 more zeros at the end. That's 800. 20 times 6 is the same thing as 2 times 6, which is 12, with an extra 0 at the end. So that is 120. 40 times 3 is the same thing as 4 times 3, which is 12, with an extra 0 at the end. 6 times 3 is 18. Now, if I go, just like I did over here, and I add all the terms together. Now, in this case, because there's x's and different powers, I can't combine them any further than this. But what, really what I did is I just added them all up. This, in this case, because there's no x's, I'll be able to put everything together into one term. That's the same thing as 800 plus 120 plus 120 plus 18. So that would be 800 plus 240 plus 18. 800 plus 200 is 1,000. So that's 1,040. 1,040 plus 18 is 1,058. And if you go through and you actually check this on a calculator, you will see that 23 times 46 is indeed 1,058. So there's an alternative to FOIL. It even works with straight numbers if you want to. Just a convenient way to multiply two things together.